Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be upgrading my computer rig and showing off some Blender kind of before and afters with my old graphics card which was a RTX 2060 and my new graphics card which is the RTX 3080. I finally managed to beat the scalpers and I got it at RRP from Scan. I had quite the moral debate with myself seeing how much they were going for on eBay. It's like, well, I've got it, do I sell it? But at the end of the day, I knew it'd help me out in my kind of work, so I thought, no, I'll keep it. An extra grand on, like, I'd have made about a thousand pound profit. It's a lot of money, but it's not like a life changing amount of money, you know? Um, and I'd much rather have the car because if I sold it, don't know when I'd be able to get hold of one again. Along with the card, I had to put a new power supply unit in the computer. So I've put together a bit of a montage of that build, and then we'll just jump straight into Blender. We'll see some before and afters of one of my scenes that I've made, and just see how the 3080 holds up to the 2060. Okay, so here I am inside my uh, containment blend file. Um, this is on my GTX 10 uh, 2060. If we go into, uh, if we look around the the scene, you can see that it's it's not massively complex. There are some high res models, not like the 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 kind of like wires, for example. But we've got 610 faces, million tries. Um, we are currently in EV, so if I go over to rendered view, I mean it doesn't look awful. And this is actually running a bit better than, and it looks a bit nicer than when I last opened this. Am I, which uh, version of Blender am I in? So I've just zoomed into my face there. So this is Blender 2.92. Um, I do have Blender 2.93 downloaded. Okay, so here's Blender 9.3. Let's open it in this one instead. Uh, if we go projects, containment, containment blend. Okay, so here we are back within the blend file in Blender 2.93. We're in EV. If we go over to rendered view, we get a crash. <laughs> this isn't going great. Let's try that one again. Okay, so that, that worked this time. Yeah, Blender. You know, I do, obviously I love Blender. Um, and like, look how fast that reloaded after it crashed. It's just, it's a shame it crashed in the first place, but we can't have everything, can we? If we go into, because this was an animation, so if we go into kind of a camera view, let's just see how bad playback is here. Okay, let's actually, uh, it looks like the shaders are compiling, so let's just wait for that to finish. Another crash. Well, that's just great, isn't it? Maybe I will go back to Blender 2.92. <laughs> Let's try one more time in 2.93. I don't think this is the latest version of 2.93. I think this is the, the new version. Maybe I should update it, but um, okay. So here we are within the scene. Okay, let's try and play this through now on the 2060. Okay. 
Okay, so it's not doing too bad. Oh, no, let's see, now it's dropped to 15 frames a second, but this is surprisingly not awful. Uh, what is my playback frame rate? Let's just double check. So it is 24, it is a 24 frames a second um, timeline, and we're on 16, 17 frames a second here. Shut those overlays off. So, I mean, it's not, it's not awful. I thought it'd be worse than this on the 2060. I think since I made this scene, I have upgraded my RAM. Uh, but now I've got 32 gig of RAM instead of 16, so that, that will have helped. So if I try and render one of the scenes, again, this is an EV, not cycles. I don't know, if I just pick this frame, what is that, frame 641? Render that image in EV. Looks like Blender's had a little crash. Nope, okay, seems to have recovered itself. So that took, what, 17 seconds to render this frame in EV. Um, so we'll see how that compares on the 3080. If we swap over to cycles, this again is where this might crash. You can see here that it's it's quite muddy. We've just got to our 32 kind of render samples in the viewport. Um, I'm going to attempt to just pan around the scene to see how, that, how this is. I mean, that is good. Even on the 2060, that's good. You can see here how sort of like slow it's doing those extra samples but the the optics um denoising is just oh beautiful so if we go back we're still on frame 641 here and we had our we had our render of um of it in ev i'm just gonna hit render now in cycles just so we've got a cycles comparison as well Okay, so obviously this looks awful. Um, got a lot of, just a lot of fireflies. Um, that's because of the, the bounce lighting. Um, that was only done at 64 frames, uh, sorry, 64 samples. Obviously if I was doing this properly, it'd be 5, 12, 1,000 samples per frame. Um, that was only 64, so it couldn't calculate all of the bounce lighting, but um, that was done in 51 seconds. Obviously EV looked a lot better. It, it was a lot quicker. Um, with more samples, this would obviously look better than EV because it is fully ray traced. But um, again, let's see how that compares on the 3080. Okay, so I'm back here in Blender. Um, I have opened this once, now the computer's back together just to see if it was working and how much of an improvement it was. If I want to go into rendered view now, now that come together. And then if we go to frame zero, hit play. So again, I'm recording uh, earlier. Yeah, see it didn't dip. It was full 24 frames a second within Blender um, whilst also recording. So very good improvement. Uh, I did also look, so obviously this will break the animation because it wasn't set up for 60 frames a second. Um, it doesn't quite reach 60 frames a second, but it, it manages a good 30, 33, 32 frames a second all the way throughout, which again is amazing considering how much was going on in this scene. It's not optimized at all. Um, if we go back, yeah, it caps out at like 35 frames a second. If we jump over to 30 frames a second, you see, it's a, it's almost kind of rock solid. If anything, it's going a bit faster for a lot of the time. Um, we can see the animation playing there. Just set that back to 24 frames a second. So the other thing was to put this over to cycles. Look how quick that <laughs> just sorted itself out. Um, if we go to 64 samples, obviously it still won't look good because it's the same amount of samples, but if we compare that to how slow it rendered earlier, I mean, that's pretty good. Imagine a better lit scene. Um, obviously this is very low light. It's not that great, but that was 16 seconds. So that's 16 seconds first, 51 seconds. So that's phenomenal. Honestly, quite a game changer. So there you have it. The 3080 is in my machine. 
Uh, it's significantly improved my like render times within Blender and just the general kind of workflow within Blender is a lot quicker. It's made editing videos much quicker. Premiere Pro's like timeline is just so much quicker to scrub through now, especially with 4K footage. And yeah, I'm just very happy to have got that in my machine. This has been a bit of a different video than I've been putting up on the channel previously, but hopefully you liked it. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit that like button down below. If you want to see more Blender content and more game dev content, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.